guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cryptid Crush. So, y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. We are, we are right there, right? Yeah, right there, okay. Alright. You slow to a stop at the last room down the hallway. The room August is cooped up in. There's muffled yelling coming from up the other side. Do you listen? Yes. Snooping. Roll difficulty? Eight. Success! Result? Ten minus two? Eight? Okay. I wake up this morning and find you're in the hospital? What's wrong with you? I was in wolf mode. You don't get to use that excuse on me. I'm not making excuses, you just... You, you don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like? I live with you in June. If you're so unhappy, move out. Go live your life. Yeah? Who's gonna look after June, huh? God forbid something happens to you. Stop talking about June. I didn't ask for your help. I don't need your help. Okay, Mom. Yeah, you sound like... You sound just like her. I know. Please don't say that, Hazel. Okay. Oh, Hazel, okay. Okay, sorry, jeez. No, um, it's alright. I shouldn't have yelled. I gotta go to class. Let me know when you check out. You hear the sound of footsteps coming towards the door. Storming out of the room is a young woman with wild red hair and a black beanie. You walk up to August's room and knock on the door. You hear a loud crash and the sound of claws slipping on tile. Bro? Huh? You feel like you're interrupting something. Uh, hey! I wanted to say hi and apologize for running you over. Hey, don't worry, I was already a wreck. <laughs> you frown. Just, uh, tell me you didn't hear all that. You'd, you'd rather not admit you were listening on a private conversation. Lying a bit. Roll difficulty, eight. <laughs> I'm going to cheese the system. All right, let's do it. Well, I am going to Load? No. What the fuck do I load? Oh. Let's do it again. Alright. What? Nope. We're gonna keep doing it. Keep doing it until we roll. A success. Do it. Do it, bitch. We're, we're getting there. We are indeed getting there. Alright, come on. Do it. Roll, baby. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme them... No. Come on, game. Give me it. Give me success, baby. You see them stars. Let me see them stars. There we go. Nine minus one. Nope. I'm guessing that was your sibling? Little sister. Yeah. She's got a lot on her plate with school and family stuff. I can imagine. Have you seen Atlas? Was he with you? Yeah, he stayed over at my place. Man. I guess this was the last straw. Especially after the Stroganoff incident. The what? You choose to keep that thought to yourself. <sighs> Atlas doesn't want to listen to me. What should I do? Well, I've marked it. Why not pull him aside and communicate your expectations as roommates? I'm sure it'd make you both feel better. Talking would be good, yeah. Thanks. So, did you, uh, need something? August backs away, eyeing the nearby window. I was in the area, so I thought I'd check in. Ah, I appreciate it. I should be heading home before lunch. That fast? I gotta get out of here before the doctor comes back. Uh, Oz? No. The mean one. This morning she chased me with needles. It sounds like you have a lot to worry about. I guess. It seems you're both at an impasse. Not sure what to say next. So you're a werewolf, huh? Gah! Huh. Gah! I knew you would ask. You weren't supposed to find out like this. I could have been all aloof and mysterious. Gosh, what happened last night? Huh? What werewolf? That's just a myth. But no, I ruined it day one. Is lycanthropy some kind of game to this guy? Well, you are living in a town of monsters, so it's no mystery you'd be one too. Second y'all. Water time. Uh, 
wonder if you can level up. I'm kind of curious to see if uh, you can, like, improve your stats and such. Also, I want to experiment with these different die types. Hmm. Robin Hart. No Robin Hood. <laughs> Alright. You look so cute. With all the orange fluff, you're adorable! <sighs> no way. You get out of here. I'm being serious. <laughs> okay, I guess he's the one who got out of here. August tears the clinic room window open and leaps out. Huh. You walk out into the hall. You're back in one piece! So, how'd it go? Uh, it went alright. Still kind of feel bad, but August didn't seem to care. How about getting crushed by two tons of force? Yeah, it was kind of awkward. Did Thursday send you? Mm, yeah, I got bored. Oz won the staring contest. Taro's fur bristles. Though, I sense something's amiss. Wait here. Looks like you fetched. This sounds like Doom music. Holy shit, this sounds like Doom music. I love it. <laughs> Looks like you fetched everything we need. Indeed. Did anyone see you? You better have kept your mouth shut. Shoot, sorry, I didn't mean. Did you contact the others? Yes, and now we wait. Hmm? Saturday night. What are you talking about? Oh, hello there. Gwah! It's nothing! Nothing, huh? Then what's going on this weekend? Um... Ozzy... Ozzy, get her. No! Don't get me! Just kidding. Ozzy, Ozzy wouldn't hurt anybody, right big guy? Oh, She's like a psychic spiritual cat though, couldn't she like fly out of the room or fly through a wall? Ugh, whatever, you're all the worst. Um, what are you doing? Oz scrambles backwards as you approach. Howdy, human! What? You're the one who put the wolfman in the hospital, huh? That's brutal. Not on purpose, it was a freak accident. No need to be bashful, I understand. This town must be awfully dangerous for a human, with us monsters looking around. Are you really a doctor? <laughs> I'm wearing the coat, aren't I? Anyways, I'm Edith and this is my shop. I don't trust her. But Madhouse trusts her, I think. So, a little birdie told me you were having nightmares. That's me! Here, this should help. Edith tosses you a twinkly, twinkly charm bracelet made of beads. It's tacky as hell, but you can tell it was made with care. Isn't it, isn't it cute? I love making these things. I like it, thanks! Ugly... Look, kitty cat, I know it's kitschy, but, that's thing, but that thing's a travel size protection spell. What does that do? Well, it's a charm that protects you. Ooh. <laughs> One second, y'all. Water time. We have fun here. Ah, oh, yeah. Good water. There, right? How much do I owe you? Oh, let's just say you owe me a favor. Money doesn't do much for me. Oh, uh, all right, if you're sure. Speak for yourself, Edith. I love money. Oz nods in agreement. Ignore them. Thursday thinks anything shiny is gold. Oz, well, who knows. So, you three work together? Ooh, excuse me. We're associates. Yeah, that's it? You just have to ask. What's between you two, really? Persuasion. Roll difficulty. Nine. Uh, uh, alright, I'm gonna save right here so I can ask them some questions. Alright. Well, difficulty nine. Let's do it! Failure. Alright, so, roll again. Alright, let's do it. Come on, gods of fate. Oh god, that was really awful. No, gods of fate are forsaken me. Let's do it again. We're gonna keep doing it, yep. Do it again. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Alright. Damn it. Come on. Come on, we gotta do this. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. 
come on. Oh, all right. Sweet. Like I said, we're associates. Harsh. I got Ozzy out of an awful situation. Now he works for me, running errands and collecting favors. Like a henchman. Yeah, sure, if he's into it. Seriously, though, you'd better get out of here. This is cutting into my lunch break. <laughs> hey, boss, your wolfman escaped. Don't word it like that. Uh, Alright, so let's go back. And... What's the, with the name Thursday? I mean, he has some of Thursday. I could have sworn... I could have sworn it went deeper than that. Nope, you were two hours away from being a Friday. You're both terrible with names. Seriously, though, you better get out of here. Alright, so, alright. Uh, maybe the better one is to persuade them. What is this? Alright, are you helping me? The boys threw in a good word. Even if they refused to sign any paperwork. Besides, I've never seen Ozzy this chatty before. Seriously, though, okay, so I think the better option is to probably load that up and do the original option. Yeah, there we go. Roll difficulty 9. Oh, God, please let me get this. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Do it. Give me some lucky sixes. Do it. Do it. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. There we go. All right, perfect. Uh, Taro, what happened back there? You seem startled. Eve sent your lapdog on me. Seriously? Don't worry, you didn't stand a chance against me. You're adorable. So, where's Mike? I was hoping he'd make the first move. You tap the screen of your phone and it flickers green. I chickened out. Chickened out? I can't face Edith. I look like a boiled I look, I look like a boiled lagoon. Lagoon. Oh, I don't say that. Would she even recognize you? Uh, probably not. But forget it. Who cares? Relax, you just ditched your job. Change is bound to be scary. Well, why do you think I nap all the time? Because you're a cat. No, it's because the world's exhausting. You'll figure things out. And no, you're not a boiled legume. You're a tennis ball. Uh, thanks. Looks like you it is water time. Alrighty. Let's keep walking. You pass through the empty city square and come to a stop in front of a tall red brick building. Through the glass doors, you catch a glimpse of a figure dressed in brightly colored cloak pushing a cart full of books through the lobby. Cute! I've got a library! Don't be fooled, libraries are treacherous labyrinths. Without a specific goal in your heart, you'll be lost in a maze of books. A bad experience? No, I've never actually been there. Then let's check it out! Entering the lobby, you're welcomed by a hushed peace and contemplative quiet. The front desk is tucked off to the side, unmanned. To the other side is a framed map of the library's layout. The map makes it appear much larger than the outside would lead you to believe. So, where to first? The town archives. No Minotaur can find us in there. They might even have an article about me. You'd have to be relevant for that. Huh. You walk down a set of stairs into a dark, sectioned-off area labeled Archives. Shelves line the small space. A table rests in the center of the room covered in scattered papers, notebooks, and diaries. Looks like somebody had the same idea. Yeah, and they left a mess. Let's take a look around and maybe put some things back. I'm on it. You sort through the books and papers on the table, and several things catch your eye, first of which being an open newspaper. The O'Malley Monster, a menace on campus. As if finals week couldn't get any worse, there's been reports of a monster roaming the school grounds. Not just any monster, but a wild-eyed, ragged beast with iron teeth and a whale like a tornado siren. One student claims they saw muddy handprints track through the co-ed dorms. Campus security brushed it off, brushed it off as a lost black bear, but last I checked, bears don't have dorm keys. Professors are scared, freshmen are petrified, and the howling hasn't stopped. How is anybody supposed to wrap up fall semester with a monster running amok? What my take? This is some elaborate prank by some loser looking for attention. Try not to give it to them. Ha! <laughs> oh. You turn the page and see a rough photograph of a monster peering out from behind a half-open window. Focus. Roll difficulty, four. 
and I'm gonna pause it right there, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.